Jeremy here from Calm and Collected. Join myself, my best friend Steve, and my sister Charity as we go on toy runs at our local stores. Looking for new action figures? We'll even visit our local retro store on our never-ending quest to see what's hanging. <laughs> Steve and I were together at Target and we saw a bunch of these grants hanging on the shelves but we couldn't find Kayla. And then she turned up. Well, unfortunately she's not really 70% no. on the Marvel shelf of all places. Then we did find where she actually belonged. She was on the end cap separate from Grant and there was a whole stack of her there. And right next to her, we found another surprise. Oh, wow. It was the new Hammond Collection T-Rex. Ironically, this was the same day that we actually got up early in the morning and pre-ordered our SDCC sets with Gennaro and the Outhouse. So we actually passed on it today, but because I was gonna get a Kayla figure, I was looking closely to make sure I picked the one with the best paint. And I noticed there's a package variation with her accessories. A few days later at Target, I found the Heyman Collection Dr. Grant. He's got improved articulation over the version that we saw from 2018 and a bunch of extra accessories, including a gloved hand and a hand holding a raptor claw. We also found the Ceratosaurus and the new Triceratops. This one looks really nice. I like the paint. If I don't get it today, I will definitely be picking it up eventually. Here's the Gallimimus as well. Let's check in with Charity and see what she found. The thing we were most surprised to see today is the Sarah Harding set. So we got ours in on our pre-order, but you can see this is some pretty cool packaging. So it's got Sarah Harding inside, has the baby Stegosaurus and the grown-up Stegosaurus. And they do have them in stock at our Target. I'm finally seeing some new Star Wars Black series. From The Mandalorian, it's Ahsoka. And from Bad Batch, it's Omega. I actually haven't been watching Bad Batch. We stopped in the middle of watching Clone Wars at some point and we just really have to get back into it. But we have kept up with The Mandalorian and not only do we have Ahsoka here, but we have the client, Werner Herzog himself and his ice cream maker and his Beskar. Hidden back here, we also have Echo from The Bad Batch. I went to another Target a few days later and they had a huge selection of new Rogue One Star Wars Black Series figures. I used to have a pretty good collection of the Rogue One figures, but I've since sold it. But if I was still working in that collection, it would be really great to finally be getting a Galen Urso. Looks like he comes with some Death Star plans. And here we have Saw Gerrera. I'm pretty sure that this figure did not exist a few years ago. So this would again be a really great one to have for anyone working on a Rogue One collection. Here we've got a couple vintage collection figures. We've got Costa Reeves. And here we've got Migs Mayfield. Pretty good likeness. The bubble looks a little crushed though. Another day I was at Best Buy and I found a few more figures. Here we have a whole row of those Moff Gideon figures from the Mandalorian with these Kenner inspired card backs. I don't think I've seen these before. Man, this almost makes me want to work on my Mandalorian Black Series figure collection. Here's another Migs Mayfield, but this time the six inch version. I wonder if his mask is removable. And here's a repackaging of one of the original Rogue One figures, Bays. Let's check in with Steve. I think he found some Transformers. I went to my local Target, and as I was heading out of the toy section, I found this end cap with the new Target exclusive Buzzworthy Bumblebee figures. I'd been looking for the Creatures Collide 4-pack, so this was great to see. The honeycomb holes up top are a strange but fun design choice, and I'm not a fan of looking down at the accessories wrapped in tissue paper. The main event is definitely Goldbug. Finally, we get the Volkswagen Beetle mold somewhere that isn't just the Walmart exclusive Netflix Bumblebee from a while back. I also found the repaint of the Amazon exclusive Pterosaur figure, this time recreating his look from the original 1996 Beast Wars line. Dinobot here also sports a fleshy colored repaint to match his old 90s toy. I still love that head sculpt. At Walmart, I got my first look at McFarlane Toys' new vintage styled Superpowers line. The retro looking car does a great job of recreating the old 80s figures, and they look like they have the same points of articulation. Darkseid looks pretty cool. I wonder how much of this line they'll be doing. I found Batman and he looks great too. The Jim Lee art on the side really throws off the vintage look though. 
I think I'd prefer him with the brighter blue cape and cowl too. Steve joined my wife and I at the movie theater to see Thor Love and Thunder. I was pretty happy with it and I was inspired to pick up a couple of these figures, the ones that were the most different from any that I already had. So I did pick up this Teenage Groot, or I'm calling them Teenage Groot, and then also Natalie Portman's Mighty Thor. Later at Walmart, I found something I've been waiting for, well, waiting for it to go on sale, and that's this Batman and Lieutenant Gordon set with the Gotham City police car. I think I was interested the first time that Steve showed it to me, but I was just really waiting for it to go on sale because it definitely feels like something that $20 is a much better price for. But I'm also interested in the Batmobile, so I'm keeping an eye on that for it to go on sale, and the two different motorcycles that they have at Walmart. So we've got this one that comes with just Batman, and then also the Selina Kyle set that comes with her motorcycle and the two exclusive figures. So these ones have battle damage. So hopefully I can catch them when they go on sale, and I won't miss out. While we were together, Steve and I visited the KTM Pop Culture Emporium in East Pittsburgh. It's actually part of an uh, indoor slash outdoor flea market, and they have a huge uh, indoor space. This was the first time that we had visited, so we had no trouble spending some time looking around at everything. Here they have some Crash Dummy sets, looks like a Junkyard playset in the box, and we've got a Batmobile. Here in front of the Hall of Justice we have Jay and Silent Bob, and they have a real Ghostbusters firehouse with a box. Outside they had a few bins, flea market style. But yeah, we had this one as kids when the tube broke off. Deploy. <laughs> I was not cool enough to have any of these as a kid, but I remember being envious of the other kids in elementary school who were fully decked out for Halloween with all those original Ghostbusters accessories. It looks like that they had a huge buy of a Simpsons collection. There must be five or six stubs here heaping full of on-card figures. I started a mini collection a couple years ago, mostly of just loose figures. I have a few carded ones and actually I plan to open them. And honestly, I don't know which ones are particularly hard to find or rare or valuable, but of course I can tell which ones I like or not. But he did have a decent amount of ones that were open. A lot of them came with these play sets. Here we have Reverend Lovejoy. And this is the Hulk that I've been carrying around that I picked out. We've got Flanders. Barney, looks like Bart in his Sunday best. So the owner came up with a price to sell me the whole box of loose figures and I decided to make them my own. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of cleaning them up and matching them up. Steve and I are going to match up all the accessories with the figures and then we're gonna make a haul video because let me tell you, this is one epic Simpsons haul. They also had some Pokemon cards and pop figures. There was even a section of Lego. It was actually way bigger than you think, and we're definitely gonna have to go back again in order to even see it all. Don't forget to use our exclusive link in the description to save 10% off in stock items at Entertainment Earth. We've been finding a lot of these new Jurassic World Matchbox cars, so if you're into die cast, we actually have a separate channel for Hot Wheels and Matchbox. We'll have a link on the screen and in the description. Thanks for watching Common Collected. We'll see you in the next video.